And also, too, there, is, there are many cultures flowing within your blood. It's not just uh, African-Canadian, but it's also uh, First Nations as well, right? I am uh, Mi'kmaq Choctaw, mm -hmm. and I know the history, mm -hmm. you know? Um, That's for your, it was your grandmother, your... My grandmother, down to my dad's reign. And, but it's interesting that, uh, although there we're still tracing, on my mother's side, uh, that's, where, that's where the Choctaw comes in through the black Indians, so-called black Indians of Oklahoma. Oh. And um, they arrived in Nova Scotia uh, in uh, the 1870s, a group and um, known as the Estalusti. That's the whole group of uh, indigenous so-called black Indians, they arrived at uh, Picto Harbor, which is just what, 13 miles from New Glasgow. Mm -hmm. And uh, they migrated inland to Guysborough County, which adjoins Picto County. And uh, we refer to that as the homestead. And uh, you know, many relatives who have still live there today who have the Estelusti names, you know, uh, Bacchus and Paris and many of the, these are my relatives. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I, and, 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 and I certainly always knew about the uh, Mi'kmaq, my grandmother, her, my great-grandmother, Granny Kitty, they were both born on the reservation. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, yeah, I was this conglomeration of... Mm -hmm whatever, thrust there um, for reasons about which I only became aware and knowledgeable many years later. That is why I remember my formative years very, very clearly, mm -hmm. because all I did was watch. Right. I watched hardly talked at all, mm -hmm. which is very strange for some people to think. Mm -hmm. uh, but I hardly talked at all for the entire time that uh, I was growing up there. I talked, but not like I talk now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness. Uh. <laughs>